Ooh, it's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Tea Parties on the Internet. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and it is so lovely to see your smiling faces back here on the Miss Mary Lou channel. Oh my goodness, happy February, everybody. Already, we are just like breezing through this year. We had a palindrome date recently, 02022020. And it's the first Tuesday of the month, so you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Tea of the Month, Tea of the Month, it's Tea of the Month. Tea of the Month, Tea of the Month, that's right. So I still have a plethora of teas that I received as holiday gifts that I have yet to share and I love them so much and I couldn't help but pick a really special tea for you today. We are going to be diving into Tuxedo Mask. Oh, that's right. Sailor Moon, who? I got a trio of Sailor Moon themed teas for Christmas and I'm going to feature one of them today. But before we get too far into the video, if you are not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. All right, let's talk about the ever dashing rose bearing tuxedo mask. Tuxedo Mask from Adagio Fandom Blends. This delightful romantic brew is Earl Grey Moonlight with Earl Grey Lavender and Vanilla Oolong. This tea, of course, has some notes of rose in it because for those of you that know the wonderful anime hero tuxedo mask always has a rose in hand so i knew i knew i opened it up i was like yes yes there's rose petals in it i'm gonna love this tea i really enjoy the packaging this is the sample size tea from the adagio website and on top of it I really love like the printing on top. All of the teas I received from them for the holidays have this sort of like finish on them and they just feel really good. And are you not a Sailor Moon fan? Don't worry. They have so many different fan, like, like so many fandoms on their website, like hundreds and hundreds of fandom inspired blends. It's really remarkable. And I also really enjoy the packaging because it is reusable. You know, I'm all about sustainability and containers that can be repurposed for other things. You don't have to just keep tea in here. You can keep a uh, little like little mints. You can keep like little matches. You can keep little buttons, basically anything little. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the leaves themselves, you can see those rose petals on there and you can see the lavender buds, which I really, really love. I'm a very picky lavender person for those of you that have been around for a while. I like there to be just a kiss of lavender. I don't like it to be overwhelming or otherwise to me, it kind of tastes like soap. So it's really cool to see all the flowers. You can see the little pretty blue corn flowers in there as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Earl Grey Moonlight is. Um, it didn't say specifically on the tuxedo mask page on the website, not that I could find, but I assume it's the kind of blend that has the rose petals in it. So packaging and aesthetics aside, let's talk about that smell. It's really satisfying. Mmm. Mmm. So the notes that come through the strongest for me when smelling this is rose for sure. And then like this chocolatey vanilla thing going on. And it's really lovely. Like I'd want this in a body butter and then just rub it all over me. Is that normal to say about your tea? I don't know. <laughs> This does come loose and y'all know I love me some loose tea. Even if my tea does come in tea bags, I usually just cut, cut it and, and brew it loose. Do I have a problem? No, I'm just enthusiastic. I'm going to go with that. All right, let's drink this thing. Oh, look at this. 
very, very classic black tea colored, although there is some oolong blended into this. So the recommended brewing temperature is actually 195 degrees, so a little bit under boiling, which makes perfect sense that that is their recommendation because oolongs are a little bit more delicate, so you wouldn't wanna like over, over punch things by putting like boiling water on it. So, you know, I love very much, but a nice dark color. Hmm. Okay. I am definitely getting more hints of lavender once this is actually brewed. So now we're kind of like, it's a more, whereas the floral rose note was really strong in the smell in the, in the regular non-brewed tea leaves. I feel like we have more of a balance between like the rosy lavender florals and the vanillity chocolatey notes. Yes, hand motions, do they help explain flavor profiles? Maybe, I'm gonna try. Oh, and speaking of try. Mm. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I only had enough tuxedo mask left to film this episode today. So I'm a little sad that like, this is the last cup I have of this for now. <laughs> it's fine. Mm. I love, I love the balance between creamier flavors and florals in this beverage. I really also like that the lavender is paired with the rose. I think it keeps it from being too strong for me personally. I mean, I love rose tea, so it probably takes a lot for uh, me to say something is too heavy on the rose notes. But then you have that vanilla-y chocolatiness. It's almost like a magical little mousse bonbon, a bonbon, you know what I mean? Where it's like a little chocolate truffle that just has like, rose water in the actual chocolate vanilla mousse and then with like a little sprinkling of fresh lavender on top that's what this tastes like to me oh my goodness and 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 if you add milk and sweetener to this you know I, i'm a big sucker for a good maple syrup in my tea it tastes even more like a dessert i would probably classify this as a dessert type friendly tea. Do I drink it sometimes in the morning with my oatmeal? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's so fragrant, right? As soon as you get your face close to your goblet, your teacup, whatever mayhaps you are enjoying it out of, you can just smell it and the experience begins right there. It's super, super romantic and I appreciate the nerdiness in this. It's a black tea, but there's oolong in it, so it's a little bit unexpected and mysterious. And I just, oh, tuxedo mask. Mmm. Oh, this is so special. You can get a good two steeps out of the leaves, if you were wondering. Uh, they're not like the longest tea leaf pieces I've ever seen, but they're not like a powder or really, really small. Like they still do a good solid brew. And I really, really enjoy that. Also, honorable mentions. For Christmas, I also got Sailor Neptune tea, which is an Assam Melody Summer Rose and Cream Ceylon. So like ish in the same, you know, rosy florally department except like the creamy notes are really strong mm. and artemis i got an artemis theme tea oh my gosh and this is white cucumber flowers white monkey and white peony this is a tea like i've never had before i've never had cucumber in a tea and it's bonkers and it also like it also like looks really really cool and these are not the only sailor moon themed teas that they have they they have so much more than this and all of them have the really cute like little little printing on it oh i'm gonna keep this artemis one forever you know it oh oh i love them so much also low key i'm kind of dressed like sailor neptune today it's fine so friends, all in all, if you are looking for a 
romantic, luxurious, full and fragrant the experience starts before you even take a sip tea. I highly recommend Tuxedo Mask from Adagio Fandom Blends. It's super appropriate for February, as you know, there's all that stereotypes of romance and all that kind of stuff. What do you think about this tea blend? Have you ever had like any rose and lavender with vanilla and chocolate? And doesn't that just sound like the box of bonbons that you want? Maybe that's just me, I don't know. And it's a really thoughtful blend for the fandom, which I really appreciate. I squeaked when I opened these. <laughs> Cause you know, I squeak when I'm excited. It's fine. Have you ever tried any of Adagio's other fandom blends? I've come across them every once in a while. I've had a couple of like the Harry Potter ones before. They have teas for like all the different houses and everything. It's really mind blowing, honestly. I would love to know if you have had anything from from this brand before, or if you want to try something, you let me know because I am out of tuxedo mask now and that makes me sad. So friends, thank you so much for watching this episode today. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next tea party. It's tea time with Mary. A one, a two, a scoop it do it do Thanks for watching. Take time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh -oh. I think that that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new. Twitch and Twitter. I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. We'll see you next tea party. The fun never ends on tea time with Mary. That's me. <laughs> it's like a bittersweet end to the episode and like bitter, it's not bitter, but it's sweet. I need to take a nap. <laughs>